What do we do when we have one, two lookup values that we need to match in one, two columns and get a price and bring it back to the cell? Well, it depends what version of Excel you're in. If you're in Office 365, we can simply use the filter function, the array that we want to filter down to a single price price column, comma, and what do we want to include? Well, I'm going to go ahead and select the city column and then use the join operator and join it to product. If we click on include in F9, we can see now we have a single column with city and product join, control Z. Now I simply ask the question, which one of you is equal to those two items joined? Now when I hit Enter, there is our price. If I change this to New York City, there is the price for this product in New York City. Now in earlier versions, we didn't have this. And there are a few different ways we can do this. But index is a perfectly good lookup function. The array, those are the items we potentially want to look up. And we need a row number. Well, to get a relative position of an item in a list, we use the match function. We'll join city and product. Comma, and then we'll simply join city and product, comma, and the match type is 0. And if you were in earlier versions, that formula would work, but you'd have to use Control, Shift, and Enter. And you'd have to verify that those curly brackets are put in the cell. If you're in Office 365, array formulas automatically calculate, so I simply hit Enter. Now, if you're new to Office 365 Dynamic Arrays, check out my comprehensive introduction to these amazing formulas.